manufacturer is uh, Wallapalooza, as they say. And uh, just bear with me. I can't see too good, but we're going to make it through it. I, I get these, what they call floaters, but some people, they just have little specks and stuff. I get this whole part of my eye shades off, and it's just like that. And then when they're absorbing, I can't see anything. And it seems to be happening over and over in this right eye, which is my good eye. <laughs> and so I'm trying to look out my bad eye, and it's just bad deal. But anyway, we'll make it. So this uh, chapter is primarily about the Antichrist. And so we're going to look at it. It'll take us a while, but there's a lot of things to try to pick apart here. So Revelation chapter 13, we're going to look at the first five verses, okay? Now, don't let this uh, Revelation terminology scare you, okay? Um, most of the time, when the Bible calls it the beast, it's talking about the Antichrist, the man. Sometimes it's talking about the kingdom because he's a king over a kingdom, okay? So uh, it, uh, John says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea. Now, some theologians will tell you that the sea is a reference to humanity, okay? I don't believe that. Now, you can believe that if you want to. It's America. I believe he's talking about the Mediterranean Sea that is to the west side of Israel. That's the sea that they talk about, okay? So across that sea is Europe. And so you're talking about this geographical area of Israel, Middle East, Europe, okay? Um, this doesn't mention...